a 53-year-old man is behind bars after leaving his five grandchildren home alone all day without food or air conditioning during a very hot day. At 3.54am on Monday the 19th of June, authorities performed a welfare check at a home along the 17,400 block of Rolling Creek Drive in Houston, Texas. Investigators said they discovered that Kevin Turner left five children, aged between 9 and 16 years old, in the home without food, air conditioning and adult supervision on a day with very high temperatures of over 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Harris County Precinct 4 Constable Mark Herman said, A couple of them went to a local food store and were caught stealing food inside the store. He said that the children were forbidden from running the air conditioning unless their grandfather was there, and the house was infested with roaches and was just trashy inside, he said. The children were home alone for 24 hours before officials arrived and transported them to a local hospital for treatment. Following medical treatment, Child Protective Services took custody of the children. Authorities said that Kevin is the children's grandfather, but had custody of his daughter's children. During the investigation, Kevin showed up at the house and deputies took him into custody. He was booked into the Harris County Jail on a charge of child abandonment and his bond was set at $10,000. Authorities said that further charges are possible as the investigation into the matter continues. Authorities are investigating after a 39-year-old woman was found fatally shot inside her Long Island home on Monday night. At 9.41pm on the 19th of June, authorities responded to apartment number 380 along 117 Hawthorne Avenue in Central Islip, New York, after a family member reported finding Shana Staten unresponsive. Authorities said she was found stuck between a bed and the wall, with several gunshot wounds throughout her body, and she was pronounced dead at the scene. It's not immediately clear what events led up to the shooting. Investigators have not named any suspects or made any arrests as the investigation into the matter continues. 25-year-old Dustin Mason was taken into custody this week in connection to the death of his five-week-old son who died last year. On the 28th of October, Authorities responded to a home at 549 Mustang Lane in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, on a report that an infant had turned blue and was unresponsive. First responders arrived at the residence and performed life-saving measures on the child before transporting him to the hospital. Doctors reported injuries on the baby associated with abusive head trauma. The child was placed on life support but later died. Justin told investigators that he was home alone with the infant and his two other children while his wife was out getting pizza. He said he put the baby in his infant swing and propped his bottle with a blanket while he ran to use the bathroom. While in the restroom, he said he heard choking noises and ran to the infant who was choking on formula. He said he tried again to stop choking, but the baby started turning blue. An autopsy was conducted on the 3rd of November, and a report from a pathologist who specialises in child abuse deaths came back in April. It was determined that the infant died as a result of complications due to closed head injuries that occurred over a period of time. These injuries were not consistent with choking on formula, and the child's death was ruled a homicide. On Tuesday the 20th of June, Dustin was arrested and charged with abuse or neglect of a child resulting in death. He's out of the Butler County Jail without bond. 47-year-old Kelly Watford and 52-year-old Mark Watford were arrested last week after their malnourished six-year-old son drowned inside their home. On Wednesday the 14th of June, Authorities responded to a home on the 2200 block of Core Drive in Auburn, Alabama, where they found a child, identified as Sullivan Watford, unresponsive and not breathing. Medics performed life-saving measures before transporting the boy to East Alabama Health, where he was pronounced dead. Upon further investigation, police learned of suspicious circumstances surrounding Sullivan's death and collected evidence that signaled to a possible drowning. The investigators said that Sullivan weighed 21 pounds and appeared to be extremely malnourished at the time of his death. Due to his low weight, authorities said it was unlikely Sullivan was able to walk or sit up on his own. Additional evidence was discovered that showed the child had sustained prolonged willful abuse and maltreatment. Kelly told investigators that she gave her son vapor rub to treat his cough, but she never used that kind before. She said she was bathing his son when he became unresponsive and that he must have died from an allergic reaction. But an autopsy revealed water in his navel cavity and lungs, which is consistent with drowning. Police took his parents Mark and Kelly into custody. Kelly was charged with felony murder, while Mark was charged with aggravated child abuse. Mark's bond was set at $30,000, and Kelly remains held without bond. At a hearing on Wednesday the 21st of June, Judge Russell Bush saw pictures of the victim taken by Auburn police, and said they were nothing like he's ever seen outside the Holocaust documentaries. 
The parents homeschooled their seven children, and the victim had never seen a paediatrician. The investigation into the matter continues, 